Hello everyone, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, here we are, it's Wednesday, the price action hasn't changed a lot. So if you enjoy the content, uh, just the, gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new and also share with your friends. So let's go to the screen share. Okay, here we are on the price to time model. As usual, that's where we start always. So we don't have any big changes since yesterday. The candle for the week is still green. We are trying to get up and it would be a very bullish sign if we can close this candle above the previous one, above the opening of the previous one. We did not touch, as you guys know, we did not touch the 20 week simple moving average, the green line around here, but the price is still rising and for the bullish case i would like this candle to close above the previous candle on sunday regarding the price of time the price of time model itself we are below the threshold so of course everything is in line for the prediction of the top and we still have some distance from the 20 week simple moving average so let's go and check the mri let's take a look at the weekly chart so we have been going up but however the price was rejected by the trend line we went to the 56k almost 56k just a bit below that uh, i guess 55 0.8 something like that the price was rejected and we are now below the trend line again i don't like it i would prefer this green candle to be above the trend line trying to break the resistance at 56k and possibly closing the week above the opening of the previous candle so that would be my most bullish scenario for the weekly and let's see the volume continues to go down the previous two weeks were a bit high, the price held here, the average held going sideways, but overall we, have, we still have low volume and I don't like that either. So the RSI is going a bit up, but still far away from overbought territory. And the MACD is bearish for the week. We crossed over the orange line. We have two red bars already but i guess it's not so it's not so serious like that because we almost recovered all the previous week losses so let's see what happens with the macd we might see some sideways action here on the macd for some more days and possibly another turn or another flip of the blue line above the orange let's see what happens so there's not a lot to say also on the weekly let's check the daily so in the daily this was my most bullish case since a few days ago we have been going down we were supported by the 100 uh, simple moving 100 period simple moving average and also the mri support line which was around the 47.1 k so this supported the price we went back up in a very strong move three days ago or two days ago sorry and we tried to break this trend line twice already, but the price was rejected. So we are now going a bit down. However, I like the fact that the shadow of this candle, the week of this candle, did not go as low as the week of the previous candle. So we are trying to break the resistance being rejected, but this is not making a lot of volatile moves for now so that's a good indication that we are strong in this move and possibly going to break the trend line and the 56k resistance soon in pro probably before the end of this week we we could break the 56k support uh, resistance and trend line so for now we are on a three of nine after the reversal of the mri bottom and the green count is continuing so possibly we will not reset this count unless we go back down to the previous levels of the low so i'm i'm inclined to say that we will continue this rise up and possibly see a new mri top on the daily 
which if it coincides with the previous all-time high could possibly be not not be such a good thing but let's see what happens with the count in a few more days so the rsi on the daily is just going sideways the volume is going a bit back up so we stop the, this this downwards trend on the volume the macd is trying to turn bullish as you guys can see we have already a few white bars going up to the to the zero line the blue line is also going up faster than the orange so possibly we would see a cross in one or two days which is good for the bullish case and on the daily the bitmax funding rate is very very low close to zero the premium is negative let's see how this evolves for the bitmax funding rate so the four hour shows exactly the rejection of the price as we've seen before at the trend line we touched it twice or at least once let's see almost yeah we touched it almost here and here we crossed it a bit but then the price was re rejected and we went back down where we are right now around 54k.4 so i'm hoping that this is this is a good sign as you guys can see the weeks are getting are getting on higher levels than the one before so this means the pressure to buy is uh, strong and possibly we could see a new retry here to break the trend line and the 56k resistance the rsi however is pointing down and the macd is also on the four hour getting closer to the orange line the blue is getting closer to the orange the gap is getting smaller and smaller which indicates that at least for this short time frame we could turn bearish soon but i hope that the higher time frames will be more relevant and jump the price back up to retry a new breakout here of this resistance so let's just confirm that on the four hour I can confirm already on the four hour that the bitmax funding rate is very low we are at this point around 0 0.01 the premium however is negative as you guys can see the yellow the yellow part of the bar is to the downside so this is negative and that's a good thing let's just check the one hour quickly so we are being supported on the one hour by the 50 period moving average the sma and again as i said before we went lower here then we went a bit higher for this low and a bit higher for that low so it means the buy pressure is coming in and possibly is going to support the price for a new retry if we have some kind of double bottom on the on the hourly here we could see a new retest of that resistance soon in the next few hours or even one day and I hope that's what's happening here, this, this double bottom formation on the one hour, although it's not very relevant because it's a short time frame, but it could indicate that we are going, at least if this next bottom forming here is a higher low than this one, this could indicate that we are going for a new retest of that resistance. So we are now on a one red because we went below that green candle over there with the star, which was a buy signal. But if this goes back up again to uh, find support on the 50 period moving average, I believe this will continue to count as a six green to the nine, which could take us exactly where we want. The MACD here, it's not so relevant. Also, it's going sideways. No big indications there. And the BitMEX funding rate is exactly at 0.01. So that's exactly as the 4-hour. And that's the indication we have for the BitMEX funding rate. Let's just check the PRO framework. So no big surprises here too. The price remains around here for the last two days. Around this area that goes from 54k to 50, almost 56. So we have been ranging on the last two days on an area of about one thousand to two thousand dollars no big changes we are just uh, waiting for a, some kind of move to occur but i still maintain that the most probable case will be for the price action to continue to the upside trying to break the resistance of the 56k 
to 58k and possibly forming a new third range boundary around this area here let's just take a look on the four hour on the pro framework waiting to load okay here it is let's see the sine wave and the momentum are both going down that's not very good however the pressure you see here the pressure to buy is good and is holding the price around these levels let's see the trend channel we are still below the trend channel so the trend channel is also resistance at this level and joining that resistance is the 56k line so also the context channel had a big drop you guys can see the resistance and the support had a big drop since the beginning of this week so we are now exactly in the middle we are trading exactly in the middle of the context channel this is the dumb zone i'm not going to have any trades here and i'm just going to wait for some relevant indications that i can get into the market again or get out of the market again if we form a third range boundary we see resistance and possibly a reversal to the downside so that is my analysis for Bitcoin today. So let me just open the browser for you guys and I'm going to give you an opinion on Tesla. So let's go back to screen share. So yesterday I discussed a bit about the 272 million that Tesla sold of Bitcoin. This corresponds to 10% of the total Bitcoin holdings they have. And Elon Musk was, of course, of course, trying to explain in a tweet that this was just to prove Bitcoin's liquidity and that implying that it's really easy for companies to have Bitcoin on their balance sheets and then transform that Bitcoin into dollars again if they need that. Of course, I don't. I did not really believe that explanation. I thought it was a very poor explanation for the reason why they sold 10%. Although, in my opinion, uh, if Tesla wants to sell 10% of their Bitcoin and take some profits, that's exactly what everyone does. And I don't see the big relevance of that fact for people to comment for days and days in a row on Twitter about what Tesla is doing or that Elon Musk is crazy because he's just sending Bitcoin down with those um, uh, selling that amount of Bitcoin. And I don't really care. So my personal opinion is I don't care. Elon Musk or Tesla decision is to take some profits for the quarter. I think that's a very normal move for any company holding Bitcoin in their balance sheets. If they want to, uh, you know, raise some more dollars to look good on the balance sheet and uh, for the report of the quarter that's okay for me I, everyone takes profit from bitcoin i don't see any problems with that this is just a difference in how many zeros you trade with bitcoin so if i took some profits no one is going to discuss it on twitter but if tesla takes some profits that's a big uh, you know big story already everyone is discussing this i don't see any relevance in this story the company is free to trade bitcoin as they want and if they needed to do that because they needed some cash flow i don't see any problem they took some profits like anyone else and that's it but the explanation of bitcoin liquidity and because they were just trying to prove bitcoin's liquidity when you want to trade it for dollars i didn't buy that and of course i saw this news today today uh, this morning when i woke up and this is exactly what I was thinking. And some people already dis discussed this on Twitter yesterday. I believe that this, uh, this move of selling 10% of Bitcoin to get some more dollars is the reason behind it is this one. Because by doing that, Elon just unlocked the possibility of um, executing some options he has on Tesla shares. And that allows him to get... 11 billion uh, more net um, net value because he is allowed now to uh, execute his options on the Tesla stocks by a price of $70 each, which is 90% discount on the actual price, more than 90% discount on the actual price of Tesla stocks. And by 
uh, selling those bitcoins, he was able, because of the profits that the company reported the first quarter of this year, he was able to unlock 11 billion of net uh, value for him buying those stocks at a very high discount. So this is all explained here in the news. This is the news from uh, Reuters, if I'm not mistaken. And here it is. The explanation is here. So Tesla reported a revenue of 10.39 billion, uh, after which they had, if I'm not mistaken, a profit of 1.84 billion, surpassing milestones that trigger here. The vesting of the fifth and sixth of 12 tranches of options granted to Musk in his 2018 pay package to buy discounted Tesla shares. Musk, who is also a major shareholder and CEO of rocket maker SpaceX, receives no salary at Tesla. His pay package requires Tesla's market capitalization and financial growth to hit a series of rising targets. So I believe this was the main reason behind the 10% uh, holdings um, sold of Bitcoin because they wanted to reach those targets and allow Elon Musk to uh, execute the fifth and sixth tranche of options granted that he could buy the Tesla shares at a very big discount. Six billion. Of course, he cannot sell this, uh, these options right now. If he could sell those two tranches of options that he is going to execute, he would make close to $11 billion. But the agreement says he cannot sell those shares, Tesla shares, for at least five years. So this is the news I believe is behind those 10% um, Bitcoins sold by Tesla. And, you know, it's not about liquidity. Everyone knows that he was not trying to prove anything about liquidity. This was just about uh, him uh, being able to uh, release the lock on those options he had waiting. So, guys, that's it. Let me just stop screen share. This is cool, by the way. I like this uh, this uh, stream deck on my iPhone where I can change the scenes without even using my mouse. So, guys, uh, this is the uh, this is the video for today. The analysis of Bitcoin is probably not so different from yesterday. I'm hoping that the probabilities of going to the upside maintain so they are bigger than going to the to the downside. And also, this is my personal opinion on Tesla's because some people uh, complained yesterday that I just presented the news and I didn't give them my opinion. So my opinion remains. I think it's a very normal move for a company to sell some percentage of Bitcoin to get some cash flow to get some levels achieved and to present that on their quarterly report. And especially if you have 11 billion in stock options to be able to execute, I think that's a very good reason for Elon Musk to sell 10% of Bitcoin of the total of uh, Bitcoin holdings they have at Tesla. Also, he didn't sell his personal uh, Bitcoins. He said so on Twitter. So I guess this is the main reason uh, behind that event which is a non-event in my opinion, but everyone is discussing it. So guys, if you enjoyed this content, uh, gently touch the like button, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.